Boom. Got the big one out and do it pretty fast. Nice thing here. What happened? He's looking right at you. We're not exactly sure what happened. So this week, the high road is in deep South Texas and we are on a mission to kill a bunch of hogs. We're gonna be taking some rookies out and showing them what it takes to kill feral hogs. But first off, we're gonna catch up with Johnny. He's in the blind with a Timber Creek powered Glock. And we're gonna show you how well this pistol works. Well, howdy everybody. We are in South Texas and it is smoking hot. We're doing some hog hunting with pistols and I have chosen to use a Glock 34. I've got it in a sticky holster, which is nice. It's got that RMR cut out. So we use their slings and their cheek pad rests and everything in between. They got really good stuff, but like I was saying, I'm gonna be hunting hogs with this nine millimeter Glock 34 and it's covered in Timber Creek gear. And the coolest Timber Creek part that's on it is this extended charging handle because I can grab it and go like that very easily. So that's about all the noise we're gonna make while we're in this blind. Now, I was actually in this spot a couple weeks ago with our friend Tyler Tiller from Timber Creek Outdoors and he shot two separate hogs with a Glock 40 cal out of this exact spot. And it was a lot of fun. So now we're gonna join up with a couple of rookie hog hunters. Now they've watched us do this for years on TV because they work for Timber Creek Outdoors. Now the girls that we're taking on this trip, they're in charge of the Timber Creek Outdoors social media. So if you follow Timber Creek on Instagram or on Facebook, you're likely to see them on it, but any of the work for Timber Creek Outdoors goes through these girls' hands. So this is the first time we've actually had an opportunity to get them in the field where they can experience what we get to experience all the time. But like I said, these girls are rookies at hog hunting and they're fixing to find out it's a little bit more difficult than they think. I'm Alicia Shaw, I'm with Timber Creek Outdoors, and I am here this week with Callahan Wolverton from Northern California. My name is Cal Wolverton, I'm the social media and marketing gal at Timber Creek Outdoors, and I'm here with my good friend and coworker Alicia to hunt some hogs. It's our first time in Texas, we're gonna hunt with Keith and High Road and see if we can get it done. And so this hunt for hogs with the girls from Timber Creek couldn't be a better opportunity to introduce the girls to hog hunting, but also pull them over into SCI. All right, so I hope I've got some ice left in here. It is hot. And so we're uh, we're gonna sight these thermals in, just gonna check zero on them. And so say ice, now we've got bearing optics, but I don't care what kind of thermal you've got. This is a cool little tip. Take ice and put it in tin foil. You know, and especially if you live in a hot climate like we do, because most people wind up using well, it's, it's all contrast in the optics, okay? And so most people use something hot for thermal, but cold works equally as well, especially if you're in a hot environment like we are. So what we're gonna do is go staple up a target and staple up our target here on top of our target. 
and then get started. All right, you will be able to see very easily where we wind up hitting the target to the thermal. But uh, what we wind up doing, we're going to put a special camera up here that allows you to be able to actually see exactly where you hit. You won't believe it. You can see it on your cell phone. Tell me what these little target cameras are so slick. All right, so what we got here is the long shot target camera. This is the LR3. Uh, this system is designed to make life a little easier, especially on Keith and I. So this is a camera that you can literally put on your target and you know exactly where you're hitting and then you can actually digitally track your groups so that you know how to adjust and how to shoot exactly how you want to be shooting. And it actually records as well. The camera system on the target and then this is the receiver that we bring back and we have this next to us while we're shooting and it feeds right to your phone. It's really slick and it makes our life a little easier. So you may be wondering why that size of target? Because that's the size of a pig brain. All right, so we're all set up, and this is Callie, by the way. She is from California, <laughs> and she uh, she has never done this. And so I like introducing people to new kind of stuff, and this is going to be something new. So we've got a thermal set up on this little rifle. This is a 223. You just tell me before you get ready to shoot, and I'm going to start recording on that little target camera. We'll see what you do. Okay. Okay, it is shooting. Boy, this is so slick. <laughs> three inches high and about two inches right. All we need to do is see that on that camera. You can see that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. Isn't that cool? I like that. I mean, yeah. it saves a lot of leg work going yeah. back there. So let's go ahead and there make an adjustment. There user error there too. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we, just, we just threw that on there. Okay, and yeah. we have to check it. So yeah. we're checking it. Nice. Looky here. Look. Ooh. That's perfect. Awesome. That is perfect. Like I said, a, a pig's brain is about the size of an egg, and we like to put a bullet hole right in the middle of the <laughs> egg. So that's good. You want me, do I need to tell you when? No, I know when. You just do it whenever, whenever you're good. Just take your time and make the best shot of your life right there, and we'll be good. Who says a girl from California can't shoot? <laughs> Ha 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 ha! That's absolutely awesome. <laughs> Do we get okay. it? First shot? Yeah, yeah, you got it. This little camera. Look at this. Nice. That is just nice. It's like it. holy smokes! It just obliterated it. <laughs> nice. Good piece of water over there. Put the Cali sandwich in. Perfect. Alrighty, Alicia and Cali here with Timber Creek Outdoors. We are here with, oh, Keith just walked out. <laughs> there he went. We have Mary here though. Mary, say hi. Hi. We are down at Keith's ranch and we are getting ready to head out and shoot some pigs tonight. First night of pig hunting whoop, whoop. here in Texas. All right, so we sighted in the rifles earlier and got the girls accustomed to shooting the uh, thermal. And now we are unloading the rigs and we're fixing to go kill some pigs. Loading up the game chain. Really is a game changer. Callie and I are going to be using 223. We're headed after some hogs. We're getting ready to go shoot some pigs. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to watch them shoot pigs. <laughs> and? I'm ready to shoot some pigs. Let's go. All right. <laughs> so it's a, a cool 91 degrees down in South Texas. And it feels different than California, doesn't it? So the conditions could not be better. So we're pretty optimistic. We just got to get in there early, get settled down, be quiet, and then it's a waiting game. So of course we've got Mary with us in the blind. Say hi. And then Johnny is with Callie, and they're about uh, three, four hundred yards that direction from us. All right, everybody. This is Callie, and Callie is from California. Hi. And this is actually your first time sitting in a ground blind, isn't it? Yes, 100%. Yeah. She's done a lot of hunting in her day, but out in California, they do a lot of spot and stalk, and, and we got them set up on these feeders out here, and uh, there should be a lot of pigs coming in. We've been seeing a lot on camera. Fingers yeah, crossed. Fingers crossed. 
we've got Alicia and Keith not far that way. So we're gonna be very tactical about how we do this. We're not gonna be letting shots rip or anything like so that. No Rambo. No Rambo. Oh, okay. Shoot. Not today. Callie's gonna try to make one precise shot behind the ear and hopefully drop that sucker. So we got a plan. And the plan is whoever shoots first is gonna be real quiet because we don't want to booger up the area for the other person. So hopefully we'll get the first shot. That looks great. Is that fine? What it's supposed to look like right now? Biggest 
one? Do you see it right under the feeder? Yes. Okay. The one that just bounced off yes. the left. Mm -hmm. There's no deer behind it, right? No. Can I take it? Can you see it good? Yeah. When you're ready. It's he, he's looking right at you. I know. So as soon as it got dark, I went out there and actually uh, <laughs> recovered the pig. I, I really didn't think that, that he was dead, but uh, he was dead, didn't go very far, but pretty easy to do this, wasn't it? <laughs> Tell everybody. Uh, yeah, sure, after my nurse finally <laughs> settled down a little bit. My nurse I mean, kicked in high gear and it was uh, a little bit harder than he thought because, you know, you want to get a good shot and they're moving around and spinning around and. So this gun right here, it's, uh, I call this my hot rod. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's beautiful. I and mean, take a look at it. it. I is. mean, it's beautiful. It's got the Timber Creek gear all over it, of course. I mean, you know, it's customized. It's got, you know, of course, the grip and the ambi safety and the big oversized charging handle. You know, it's just a, it's a cool gun and I love it and it does a good job. But it does. It was fun to shoot. Uh, this silencer right here we got from Silencer Shop. Okay. And the cool thing about shooting a suppressed rifle is many times the animals have no idea where the shot came from. And that's what happened on this uh, round that we went out tonight. Uh, Alicia was sitting there, the hogs came in, and the, and the very first one came in, she took a shot, and she missed. Okay, and they took off running. And it was like, ah, said, don't worry, don't worry. They had no idea where the shot came from. And what was it, a half hour later? The girls came down for several days. So we've got, we're gonna hunt tomorrow night, we're gonna hunt the next night. So we decided, okay, we got one on the ground, and yep. uh, we're gonna go ahead and end it for this evening, but we'll be back out here tomorrow, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Now you can do it again. You got your first Texas pig. I did, my first right. Texas pig. Well, first congratulations. Pig. Thank yeah, you. I'm glad Thanks you came. So, see a girl from California can shoot. Yes, we can. <laughs>